Hey guys, I'm back. So, to, right now we're going to investigate the March Sketchbox in depth. Now, Sketchbox is $25 a month plus $5 shipping or $240 a year. So I'm paying $240 a year. The premium box is $35 a month plus $5 shipping or $350 a year. I'm not doing premium. What you guys see most artists review on YouTube is the premium box. There are a few people who have started reviewing the basic box, like I do, but most of us have purchased our subscription out of pocket. Many of the people who you see review the premium box have been sent the box care of Sketchbox. Um, so we got two items, two mega items, and 21 minor items, I guess, if you want to think about that. We have a 20-pack of Stabilo uh, .88 fine liners. Um, they are water-based and I haven't even gotten in the pack. I already like that it has a wallet and we got a Copic Wide. And I have a lot of Copic Wides. I love using Copic Wides, to, sorry, to lay down washes. So um, before we start reviewing and investigating these products, let's take a look at the price breakdown. So I'm pay basically paying $30 a month if you're including shipping, if I was a regular, if I hadn't purchased a year subscription. So let's just say I wanted to see if I liked Sketchbox, I would have paid $30 for this box. Um, the Stabilo 20 piece set is $12.45 on Amazon and that includes prime shipping, so that's no additional shipping. Um, and the Copic Wide is $5.99 on Marker Pop, and um, you can find links to all of these things in the description below, as well as the the blog post, the um, Art Snacks versus Sketch Bar Sketch Box March blog post. Please, please do not leave comments complaining about how I do things until you've read the post. Um, it's kind of integral to the whole thing. Um, any anyway, um, so you would be paying shipping on that five ninety nine wide. Um, I really don't recommend you just purchase one marker from Marker Pop. The best bang for your buck is to do a, a bulk purchase. Um, so I'm not factoring in shipping for that particular item. Your total would be $18.44 for a box that you paid $30 for. This is just a plain Jane piece of cardstock. Not marker paper, it's not fancy. Copic Wides are alcohol based. This has water in it. This has colorless blender in it. This has rubbing alcohol in it. This has water in it. And I'll say which one is which in a minute. Copic Wides are great for carefully laying down wide areas of color. Now you can get streaking because it can be difficult to overlap them just so and if your hands shake any it's gonna be kind of wobbly like mine you can get a finer line it's a little harder to do if you like to work big these are great if you like to lay down a wash to sort of tone your piece first like I did with this this has Copic wide in the background and you can check out this tutorial on my channel um, so it, you can see the color I laid down influenced everything that went on top of it. I like that. I'm a watercolor artist. I want that. I had searched for a way to do it with markers. This is one of the ways you can do it with markers. Now, this is going to react to this. This is my Copic Colorless Blender. And it pushes the ink to the back of the paper. That's how alcohol markers work. That's how they layer. Every new layer you put will put the uh, put on top will put the older layers further back on the paper fiber. Water, on the other hand, isn't going to do anything at all, which is why I like mixing watercolors on top of alcohol-based markers. You get some really vibrant effects with that. Now, rubbing alcohol will also affect your marker, it's going to affect it the same way your colorless blender did, by pushing it to the back of your paper. Water, even in a spray bottle, is not going to affect it at all. With these, you can do something kind of neat. Not only can you do line art with them, and your alcohol marker shouldn't affect them, so I'm going to... It's got 
very, very fine point. So you can actually, and let me, let me zoom in, let me show you guys. See, no smearing. So you can actually use water-based markers to line your alcohol ink. Mark, uh, what, I'm sorry, you can use water-based fine liners, marking pens, as your line art for stuff you're gonna color with marker. However, if you add water, and this isn't even watercolor paper, it will pick up a little bit. And what I used to do in my sketchbook, and I'm linking you guys to the post right here, is I used to use the um, the 66, I think, the one with the bullet nib. I would do like a faux watercolor tone sketches in my sketchbook with like that. So these are actually pretty neat. Um, with such a fine point, what you can also do is just sort of soften the look of your um, line by adding water and then maybe doing alcohol on top of it. It really depends on what you're looking for. So you can even do fake watercolor painting with these. And um, an artist I follow on Instagram, Looney Lolita, does some amazing work using these and maybe the 66s to create a palette for herself. So these can be used in a variety of ways none of which were outlined in Sketchbox whatsoever, and that is something I would like to see. If Sketchbox is going to send us commonly available supplies, I think it would be phenomenal if they, with the permission of the artist or working in conjunction with an artist, created tutorials that they linked on their card to show people a new technique or a new way of thinking of these common materials. Um, that would be added value for me as an artist who's always trying to grow. So um, while I'm not unhappy or dissatisfied with what I received in this box, I do feel like the value of these materials was not worth the price of the subscription box, so I am disappointed in March's sketch box. This isn't my final verdict, however. You should read the blog, natosoup.blogspot.com, to find out what my final verdict on these reviews, these boxes are. All right? So that's my overview of the sketch box. I am going to create a piece with these markers, maybe even two pieces. It really depends on how I'm feeling and how much time I have. And I'm going to render it for you guys in my next Sketchbox video. So I'll see you guys soon with my art snacks review and price breakdown.